When you are Rolling. action. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. I'd like to talk about the Palestine Israel conflict. All right. Israel, Hamas, and the church. Okay. I think the first thing that we've got to recognize is the atrocity of what Hamas did yeah. to Israel in killing 1,300 Jews targeting and attacking civilians, burning people alive, decapitating babies, kidnapping elderly and young, and then taking them into Israel. There can be no justification unless you're following Mohammed's example for that kind of behavior. It is not acceptable. It is an act of terrorism and it has to be flat out condemned. The conflict in Israel and Palestine right now yeah. is squarely on the shoulders of Hamas. Yeah. The deaths of civilians in the Gaza Strip right now yeah. is squarely on the shoulders of Hamas. And let's be clear, yeah. Hamas is not embarrassed or ashamed to kill Palestinians. Nothing. Remember when Hamas yeah. kicked out Fatah from the Gaza Strip? Uh, How they killed Palestinian supporters of Fatah and then dragged their bodies through the streets and the back of cars. Uh, yeah, Hamas is not embarrassed to kill Palestinians. Why? Why? Because it is an Islamist militia dedicated to an Islamist cause, it is only using yeah. the cause of the Palestinians as a proxy to a much wider global agenda that involves imposing Sharia law everywhere around the world. I want to state clearly that there's no chance of military victory for either Israel or Hamas. This war has no military solution. If Israel invades the whole of Gaza, as it looks like it will, and let's just imagine that it actually succeeded in destroying Hamas, which it probably won't, all that would happen is that another group would rise up to replace Hamas in the Gaza. Likewise, Hamas has not the ability or the capacity to destroy Israel like it wishes to or to stop Israel from doing the things that it finds objectionable. Why? Why? Because Israel is backed by the United States and whilst ever that backing is present, absolutely no one can touch Israel. You can scratch Israel, you can cut Israel, but you will never destroy Israel whilst ever Israel is backed by the USA. Therefore, we have to recognize the truth of the situation. There is no military solution. America controls the leash upon which Israel operates. This operation that is occurring will end in Gaza, the moment Biden picks up the phone, calls Netanyahu and say stop, or the military aid stops. Stop, or the aid stops. That's the reality that plays out politically for both those who are supporting Israel and those who are supporting Hamas, is that America is the kingmaker. America is the one that ultimately decides what happens. I want to point out that Palestinian Christians have been loyal to the cause of Palestinian people since, the, the, as the Palestinians describe it, the great catastrophe that befell the Palestinians. But how has Hamas rewarded Palestinian Christians. Wow. They are treated as second-class citizens yeah. in Gaza. Yeah. 
they are discriminated against, they cannot practice their faith fully, and that when they do, they quickly find that Hamas is tapping them on the shoulder and telling the Palestinian Christians, you can't do that because it's against Sharia law. The reality is that Palestinian Christians are being treated as second class citizens by Hamas inside this cause. Can I get some water, please? All right. They are caught, Palestinian Christians, in other people's fights. They're caught in the Israeli security clampdown because they are seen by Israel as Palestinians. And so they suffer at the hands of the security blanket of Israel. And they suffer at the illegal settlement and settle a project and settle a movement that tries to push Palestinians out of the land that they have. But they also suffer at the hands of Hamas because they are Christian and not Muslim. The leadership of Hamas have said that they won't stop until there are no Jews and no Christians. That includes the Christians inside the Palestinian authorities. We must recognize therefore that whilst Israel does cause problems for Palestinian Christians and is a threat to the Palestinian church, Israel only represents a local regional threat to the church. However, the ambitions of Hamas are global. Their ambition is that once their jihad has succeeded against Israel, it will be continued to outside of the house of Islam to the house of war. And that means Christians everywhere are threatened by Hamas. Israel does have evidence of Christophobia. There are clearly examples of Christophobia happening inside Israel. And Israel should be challenged about any act of Christophobia. Jews spitting on Christians, desecrating churches, desecrating Christian cemeteries, or stealing Christian land through underhanded deals should all be condemned by the international community. However, as a Christian that opposes those actions, I also can say that I have more confidence that Israel is more likely to tackle these actions and events and condemn them than I am to believe that Hamas will condemn those in its ranks who currently persecute and harass Christians in Gaza. Why? The Quran and the Hadiths teach that Christians are always second-class citizens. They are always the dhimmi, and the dhimmi is always beneath the Muslim. And that is institutional Christophobia within Islam. I want to point out, ladies and gentlemen, that right now, right now, ladies and gentlemen, Hamas has more control of what happens in the streets of France than the president of France does. The president of France forbid pro-Hamas protest in the street of France. But the leadership of Hamas called for protest across the world. And so what we saw in the streets of London and the streets of Paris and the streets of New York was adulation, support and celebration for the act of mass murder, indiscriminate against old and young alike in our streets and the uh, madam I'll, I'll take questions in a second do you want to ask a question let me finish this point and then i'll take a point
Fine. We should all be concerned that in our Western society, a terrorist organization is able to have more say on what happens in our street than our own governments. We can't expect those who are bought into Hamas to think any differently, but all of you who are not Muslims, all of you who are not the allies of terrorists should be alarmed by the fact that terrorists have more control over what is happening in our streets than your own governments. Now, the lady was very patient. She asked very politely. So, madam, if you'd like to make a point before I continue, what would you like to say? Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I really appreciate it. Uh, you just said something about the Quran and that it's still institutional, that basically in the Quran itself, that it says that the Christians are actually second class citizens and Muslims and stuff like that. And that is not true. That's what I wanted to actually kind of like stop you out and you said it's not a question. It's more of actually an argument that says, please, 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 do read the Quran. And if you are not able to explain it or to actually understand it, you have the scholars that actually just really completely yeah. Okay, allow me to reply. It's hard to understand, even for us actually. Even for us, it's hard to understand the Quran from its face value, right? Allow me to reply, madam. I get your point. Sure, sure. I get your point. I'll just, there was this thing, and then the second thing. So this is one thing, and then the second thing. Madam, let me reply. I took a point. Let me reply to that point. Ladies and gentlemen, the point is, I am being accused of misrepresenting Islam. If you don't believe me, go and speak to the Coptic Christians of Egypt and ask them what it meant to be trapped like a dhimmi. If you don't believe me, go and speak to the Assyrian Christians from Syria and Iraq and ask them what it meant to be trapped like a dhimmi. If you don't believe me, go and speak to the Sudanese Christians and ask them what it meant to be trapped like a dhimmi. If you don't believe me, go and speak to the Lebanese Christians and ask them what it meant to be trapped like a dhimmi. Don't listen to the apologetical lies of the Muslim. Go and speak to the people who have endured dhimmitude for 1400 years in Armenia, in Turkey, in Greece. Go and speak to the Christians who have suffered what a dimitude is, not what the apologists try to tell you it is. Madam, before you make another point, let me make one more point in my talk and then you can make another point. Okay, let me make another point in my talk and then I'll take another point. No, madam. Let me make one more point in my talk and then I'll take another point from you. Let me make one more point in my talk and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to dialogue with anyone. All I ask is that you be courteous. Let me continue with my talk making a point and then I will allow you to come back with whatever point you make. And as you can see, I've just done that and we will continue in that fashion. But I am here to make a speech and so I do want to progress in the speech that I'm making. So returning to the talk, the security forces of the West right now have a brilliant opportunity. All of the Islamist dogs in our society are showing their face. All of the jihadi scum in the West are showing the world who they are. Western intelligence services should be taking names, should be tracing phone numbers, should be tracking emails, and should be identifying Islamist sympathizers everywhere in the West. And then our state should deport them all, even if they have to do it one a week for years to come until they are all removed. Those who have voiced support 
for Hamas in your workplace should be reported to the HR and every employer that has a sympathizer with Hamas should be removed from their employment. Government contracts should be removed from employers that don't allow, that don't sack, ladies and gentlemen, those that are sympathetic to the Islamists. Refugee claims should be rejected if the one claiming the refugee status is found to be sympathetic to Islamists. We cannot allow that our country be a home to Islamists who despise our way of life, despise our values, despise the way that we want to live, ladies and gentlemen. And right now, we have the best opportunity to identify who they are and to act against them because they are telling us who they are right now. Now, except for the heckler, before I move on, would anyone like to make a point or ask a question? He got in there first, sir. The Hamas attacks smelled like Pearl Harbor and the Lusitania. I think they were allowed to happen. So, ladies and gentlemen, the brother tries to say that the Hamas attacks were allowed to happen. I want to counsel you all. I want to counsel you all to not listen to the lies of the Islamist apologists. It was a false flag attack. It was made up. The Jews killed 1,300 of their own citizens. 9-11 was an inside job. Ladies and gentlemen, if you believe this kind of conspiratorial nonsense, you are a fool. You are an unwise fool. Hamas admits they did the attack. Hamas admits they did the attack. But notice the alt-left and the Islamists are united in blaming the Jews. Look, wait, brother, wait, wait. I'm going to make one more point in my talk and then I'll let you ask the question. Yeah? No, let me make, let me make one more point in my talk and then I'll, ask, I'll come to you. Yeah. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, he's next. Right, ladies and gentlemen. I want, I want, I'm not responding to hecklers, JC. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to point out that we should be concerned that we have imported women like that into our society. Her, she should lose her citizenship and she should be removed. We removed the citizenship of Shemima Begum, who was born, born in the UK. Why did we do that? Because she was a supporter of ISIS. Supporting ISIS and supporting Hamas are the same thing. And people like that should lose their citizenship and they should be sent somewhere else. We don't need the Islamists. The Islamists need us. Ladies and gentlemen, what's your question? What's your question, sir? What's your question, sir? What's your question? I never said you did. I said you support Hamas. I said you support Hamas. Where's your support? I said you support Hamas. Are you happy with what they did? Are you happy with what they did? Yeah, go on. What's your question? The police are over there. Go get them. The police are over there. Go get them. Go, go, go. Get the police.
question. Do you condemn Hamas? Yes, I do. I condemn you condemn them. Them. Did you condemn yes. what they do? Yes, I condemn right. the Kalimunis. Right. So, so great, so great, great. Why have you killed great. Me supporting them? Great. I support yeah, Palestine. So, I so, and who's fighting for Palestine? The people. Does that include Hamas? Does that include Hamas? Right, what's your question, bro? I was going to ask you. Yeah, go on, what's your question? Yeah, yeah, go. Seem like a nice guy. Yeah. Try to be. Too much about you. Try to I can see that. Let's go. There's obviously two sides, a lot of history. Yep. Right. Both sides have arguments. Yep. I was going to ask you, do you know what a Goyim is? Goyim? G-O-Y-A-M, you know what that is? What, sorry? Habibi, 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 what's Sorry. What, what, what? Do you know what a Goyim is? Goyim? Uh, yeah, it's a racial slur. What does it mean? Uh, well, no, actually, I think it's... No, 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 hold on one second. No, 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 Right. What it means... Brother, brother, what it means phonetically and what it means emotionally are not necessarily the same thing. Would you agree? So, I'll tell you So, it means nations. It means the non-Israelites. Okay, fair enough. Right, the Goyim. Non-Jews. Non-Jews. Yeah, exactly. Non-Israelites. One second, sir. Sir, I'm doing a talk, so so I was... I've answered your question. I've answered your question. Okay. Let me continue with my talk. Okay, wait, wait. Uh, you, I, I, I waited patiently. He listened, he's talking. Uh, yeah, let me, let, me, let me continue with my talk. No, no, no. Brother, I'm doing a speech. Brother. If you chat, we won't hear the conversation. Please. Yeah. Right. No, no, no. I'm trying to do a speech. That's what I'm trying to do. Right? And you were patient. And because and because you were patient and polite, and because you were patient and polite, I let you ask a question. I gave you your chance. You asked me a very technical question. I've answered the question. Well, you asked me. I said I'd take a question. I took a question. I've given an answer. Yeah. I'd like to continue with my so, speech. Yeah. If you wait patiently again, I'll come back no, to you. I'm, I'm going to get going, but just quick point on your No, 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 no. Let me continue. Maybe wait one more point in my speech. Because I'm here to do because, a talk. Because you answered I'm here it. to do a talk. No, but brother, all I'm telling you, bro, is that regarding the Palestine-Israel situation, yes. it's not very simple. It's not something that you could easily... You weren't here at the beginning of my talk, were you? What, what, what did I miss at the beginning? Yeah, yeah. I'm not going over the speech. I'll have to watch it on Talk of My point to you is that I've already admitted that it's complicated and I'm on no one's side. Okay, fair enough. I've condemned Israel for its actions, okay, where it persecutes Christians, yeah. Yeah. where it oppresses. And if you listen more, yeah. if you listen more, if you listen, if I can, if I can actually get through my speech, you'll actually hear more of that as I go on. You'll actually hear more of that as I go on. Regarding the yeah. Christians, right? You see, there's Muslims here yeah. that are speaking loud. And as you're, you're a Christian, yeah. and I'm telling them to let the Christians speak. And, and I appreciate know why, that. You want to know where I get that from? I appreciate that. You know where I get that from? Right. I get that right. literally. I get that literally from the Quran. Right. The so, Quran says if someone, if sorry, you see a Muslim, bro, let's not grab one. Uh, sorry, no, 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 it's way back. So in Islam, in the Quran, wait, what's it? In the Quran, the little tells you if a Muslim yeah. is oppressing a Christian, Iran. if a Muslim right. is oppressing a Christian, and this is you have to, you have to stand this, with the Christian. This is this is this is why this is why I want to continue with my speech. No, no, I'm going to continue with my speech. But bro, because because the point is I disagree. Because, listen, bro, bro, I'll happily come back to you. I'll let you make that point. I'll let you make that point. Let me finish. Let me continue. No, bro, bro, you have to, if you're going to talk about Islam, though, you have no. to also bring the beautiful And this part. is why. No, hold on. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I have to do nothing. If the Palestinians are... I have to do nothing. Let's be clear. I have to do nothing. Are we agree? This place is crazy. It's making right. crazy. Right. Right. I'll say, if, if the no, Palestinians... Brother, I'll brother, you brother, I want to continue with my talk. Brother, I'll debate you on this point after the talk. I'll debate you on this point. Right. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. That's very dangerous to say I didn't say you support. I didn't. I didn't. Take it to the police then. Take it to the police then. Take it to the police then. I'll take No, I said, let's be clear. I'll, I'll, no, I'm not going to correct myself. I didn't say anything wrong the first time. I want to be clear because the lady has taken such umbrage. I want to put on record that I accept that not every Muslim is, and that we should make distinctions between Islamists and Muslims. And what do you mean about but I absolutely stand by my statement that every Islamist should be deported.
every Islamist, every Islamist. So, I'm going to go on. If you want me to engage with you, stop interrupting. Uh, if you stop interrupting, I'll come back to you. So, ladies and gentlemen, brother, brother, if you want, I'll debate you after I finish talking. I'll debate you afterwards. So, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we're asking for clarity. Ladies and gentlemen, you should recognize the fact and the, the fact that you should recognize is that those who are willing to be apologists for terrorism abroad or will be willing to support terrorism in the West. That's what you must recognize. And that is why Ladies and gentlemen, we should clamp down on Islamists fully and completely. Now, before I continue, is there anyone who hasn't heckled me like these two for the last two minutes that would like to ask a question or make a point? Go on, JC. Right. So JC asks the question, what is an Islamist? An Islamist is one who seeks to impose Sharia law over those that would reject it. That is what an Islamist is. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Hamas is trying to do that. ISIS is trying to do that. Islamic Jihad is trying to do that. Boko Haram is trying to do that. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to recognize something. When the Islamists are finished with the Jews, they're going to come for the Christians. And so Christians, you must unite, you must train, you must organize, you must mobilize, and you must resist Islamization in all of its forms. Ladies and gentlemen, this is propaganda. And I want to say to you who are atheists, you who are agnostic, you who are humanist, you who are Sikhs, you who are Hindus, if they win against the Christians, you will be next. This is not Israel's problem. This is our problem. So, is there anyone who hasn't heckled me through the last point who would like to ask a question or make a point? No, on the topic. Okay, no, you heckle, you don't get to ask. When you stop heckling, I'll engage with you. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say that there are Christians who buy into the ideology of Christian Zionism. Those Christians are in error. Christians must not support Israel because of a faulty the political theology known as Zionism. No, the Bible is clear that the solidarity of Christians is with other Christians only and always. The Bible does not teach us that we are one body with non-believing Jews. It says that we are one body with Christians alone. What about and notice, ladies and gentlemen, all of the left-wing and Islamist sympathizers who were heckling me suddenly shut up 
when I started speaking about not supporting the Jews because they're Jewish. They'd have no problem with anyone that is against the Jews. Ladies and gentlemen, let's be clear. As Christians, our loyalty and strength should be given to supporting the church inside Palestine and inside Israel. We should not fall into the trap of taking the side of Israel or of taking the side of terrorist organizations like Hamas. But we should support the church and the church alone. Is there anyone who hasn't heckled me that would like to ask a question or make a point? When you stop heckling. You did heckle. When you stop heckling, then you can ask a question. Okay, anyone, before I make my final point and then I'm done on this speech. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I want to point out the hypocrisy of the left-wing media who have talked about the oppression, ethnic cleansing and apartheid treatment of Israel against Palestine and of the occupation of the Palestine territories. I want to point out to you that the left-wing media lies to you distorts your knowledge of the world and lives by double standards. Just this month, 120,000 Christians were ethnically cleansed from Azerbaijan. They were driven from their homes in Nang Nango Aksak, Nango Karabakh, or otherwise known as Arkzak. Ladies and gentlemen, there was no Western outcry. There were no celebrities jumping on Twitter to decry the ethnic cleansing. Man, woman, child, old, young, abled, disabled, civilian and fighter. 120 thousand Christians were driven from their homes and all of your left-wing media celebrities and commentators had absolutely nothing to say about it. Why? Because they were Christians being ethnically cleansed by Muslims and it doesn't suit the narrative to talk about it. It doesn't suit the narrative to get you all worked up about it, to stand in solidarity with Armenian Christians about it. Northern Cyprus is currently occupied by the Turkish state that in the 1970s that in the 1970s drove its Christian populations out of northern Cyprus. Left-wing militants, left-wing speakers, where's all your solidarity for the people of northern Cyprus? Where are the cries to end the Turkish occupation of northern Cyprus from the BBC? from The Guardian, from CNN, from the British Parliament, from the Democrats. Why are they not speaking about it? Why? Because it does not serve the narrative to point out to you that in the 1970s, Muslims drove 10,000 Christians from their homes and it's still what occupying northern what Cyprus to today, Christian ladies and gentlemen. Years. Over 22 million ladies and gentlemen. Why do you not hear 
A bolt, the bombings and the anti-Christian pogroms. The bombings and the anti-Christian pogroms that happen in Pakistan and Egypt. Churches bombed, Christian communities attacked in anti-Christian riots. They call me a liar. Go and check it for yourself and see who is lying, ladies and gentlemen. Why don't you hear about it? Why? Because it doesn't serve the narrative to tell you that Christian minorities are persecuted across the entire Islamic world. Christians, Christians, I want to tell you that if the world will not speak up and stand up for your brothers and sisters, then that is exactly what you should do. You should stand up for. You should raise a voice for your persecuted brothers and sisters. Yes, there is no government backing the church. And so the only one backing the church is the church itself. And that means that our solidarity is with all Christians everywhere against every opponent. This isn't just solidarity against Islamic persecution, but it's against the Buddhist persecution of Karen Christians in Burma, the communist persecution of Christians in Cuba, Venezuela, China and North Korea. It's against Hindu persecution of Christians in India. Wake up church! Your denominations mean nothing when our brothers and sisters are dying for the faith. Unite, organize, train, mobilize, resist. Use the fullness of the law to your advantage. Any questions? Any questions? All right. On topic. Yeah. Explain to the audience why the crusades happened. the question So the question was, ladies and gentlemen, what about the crusades? So let me address that question directly. So what about the Crusades? They were a response to seven centuries of Islamic aggression and there are no more Crusades. But the reality is churches are being attacked in Pakistan. Churches are being attacked in Egypt. Churches are being attacked in Syria. Churches are being attacked in Iraq. Christians are discriminated against in Malaysia. Christians are discriminated against in Indonesia. Christians are persecuted in Morocco. Now notice how you've all been trained by the left that anyone who raises the injustices that Christians face the first question you that get asked is, what about the Crusades? Why isn't the first response of the left to go, this is horrendous, this is terrible, of course I will stand with you in helping Christians who are being persecuted. The militant left is motivated by hate of the Christian. Next question. Raided in former centuries. 
This is most lives So ladies and gentlemen, it is a fact that we need to push into the discussion about the slave trade that the Islamic slave trade is older, more widespread and as longer lasting than any European slave trade. The European slave trade was a crime aided and facilitated by Arabized Muslims and by pagan Africans. The Arab Islamic slave trade has continued from the time of Muhammad into the present. You can still buy black slaves in the Islamic world today. So don't bother lecturing me about the European slave trade when in parts of the Islamic world buying and selling slaves is still legal. Wake up black folk, you've been duped by Dawa Gandhi's lies. Any questions? And the white Bible, the black Christian, what did they do, the Christian crusade? How many millions did you kill? How many millions did you kill? In the Say, ladies and, and, ladies and gentlemen, say, ladies and gentlemen, any questions or points? Not, re not interested in responding to a heckler. Any questions or points? Ladies and gentlemen, no, ladies and gentlemen, this is an important point. Everything that I have said today has been motivated, motivated by my love of justice. There was a crime committed by Israel. There is a danger to my neighbor posed by Islamist communities in the West. Christians are being persecuted. It is my love for these groups, the stranger, Israel, my neighbor, those who live in the West, and my brothers and sisters in the church that has underpinned my entire argument. Let me be clear, I am not advocating, encouraging, or supporting any act of vigilante justice against any innocent Muslim. However, that being said, that does not mean that we have to be passive, inactive, cowardly, or sit on our hands when Islamists are working amongst us to support the barbarous acts of Hamas in Israel oh, and the persecution who, who made of Christians who made abroad. Who made Hamas? Any other questions or points? Who made Hamas? Yeah, no, I'm wrong. Wait, 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 bro, what's your who question or loser? I'm going to ask a question. No, right, if you're not asking me a question, I'm I'm, a question. then do it now. My question is based upon the statement that you Well, see, ask me your question, sir. Am I allowed because to speak? Because what will, here's what, bro, here's what will happen. You'll say something to him, he'll reply to you. You're going to lose okay. your opportunity. This okay. is your chance. Make okay. a point or you ask a question. Am I allowed to clarify the statement about the question? No. Why? Right. Okay, any Why? questions or points, Why? ladies and gentlemen? He can. Go and talk to him then. I'm taking questions. Go and speak to him, bro. So speaker's corner. Feel free to go talk to him. Any questions or points, ladies and gentlemen? Why do you fear he's so much? Not going to respond to a heckler. Why you, Any why other questions or points? I'm not heckling. I said, why do you fear Been shouting the whole time. Why Any questions or points? Or am I all done? I'm asking you, why do you fear Islam Would you like so another chance, sir? Would you like to ask a question or make a point? Simple question. Go on. Do you, is it, did I understand correctly a minute ago that you said that more uh, Europeans went in state than the Barbary state trade? No, I did not that say that. So, so let me address that point directly. I do not agree with the statement that this brother made. That more Europeans have been taken by the Barbary pirates than Europeans took from Africa. I don't, 
I'm not sure that that is a factual point. I don't, I'm agreeing with you. However, ladies and gentlemen, more slaves of every colour, including black and white, were taken into your into the Islamic world by the Islamic slave trade than the Europeans took from Africa. And let's remember, ev nearly every African that was taken from Africa, that slave trade was facilitated by Muslims. So they also bear some responsibility for the European slave trade as well as their own. Any other questions or comments? Any other questions, ladies and gentlemen? Going once, going twice, go on. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, at this point, I'm going to take any questions of any kind about the Christian faith.